Hello. Welcome to the Waking Moments Project. This episode is about um, beliefs, I believe. Uh, I'm going to get Seth and we'll begin. <clears throat> Let's begin with this exploration of who you are, um, waking moments, the awakening, the awakening of humanity, it's our subject. Uh, let's talk about how that is experienced on a personal level by the average citizen. Uh, that would possibly be you. Mm, in our quote of the month on our website, mm, I suggest that uh, the awakening average citizen uh, open Open your eye, uh, capital I, you see, signifying your greater identity, your soul identity, uh, your star identity. Open your eye. Uh, expand your beliefs about who you are. Let's see what that means. You perceive a personal reality uh, that you call my world, mm, me and the people in it. And you, for the most part, think of it as an objective world uh, with what I call reality constructs, uh, objects, <laughs> trees, animals, mm. your family, mm. and that everything is in place, and it's exactly the way you think it is. Mm. So, my first suggestion is that that is indeed not the way it is. It is a subjective reality, this personal reality field of yours that you create. Mm. It's subjective to the nth degree. That means that it is uh, an exact representation uh, of your beliefs in the third dimension. You see? Mm. Thus, if you are going to awaken, if you are going to expand your consciousness, uh, if you seek higher consciousness, mm, the requirement is that you expand your beliefs about who you are. Hmm. What stands in your way of this uh, process, this ideal perspective? Hmm. Beliefs around limitation, primarily. Beliefs around polarized thinking that this is right and this is wrong, um, 
that this is correct because I believe it. That this is wrong because I don't agree with it. So these judgments force you into a corner uh, of limiting beliefs, foreign truth, uh, in its most concise description. Uh, your world is not uh, one of right and wrong. Uh, it is one of uh, everything. Of all that is expressing itself in perpetuity uh, from this moment outward. Your beliefs uh, that something, because it doesn't please you, for example, uh, it makes you angry. force you to define it as uh, wrong, uh, untruth, etc., etc., etc. Let's look at the uh, way that occurs uh, for the average citizen. Everyone has an ego, uh, and as I said once in my very early uh, sessions with Jane Roberts. Uh, the ego has a specific <clears throat> goal in mind, and that is to uh, defend what it perceives as order. Um, uh, this is done through defending the belief system. That belief system that is intact at that moment of perception. Belief systems change over time, obviously, uh, but <clears throat> primarily this ego of yours uh, is about keeping emotional stability. It defends emotional order. You could say that this generic ego fears uh, a lack of order. It fears being washed away uh, by powerful emotions. And so it builds this belief system around the uh, orderly uh, emotions uh, in the sense that demonstrations of profound love, for example, are to be avoided. Uh, they diminish this ego uh, in order to be enraptured. The ego has to be pushed aside, you see, and it resents this. Mm. And so it finds reasons uh, not to uh, allow the emotion of enrapturement to be sustained. Mm. And for this reason, people on a path of uh, self-awareness, awakening, are <clears throat> required to purposefully, consciously diminish this ego so that spirit can come out, so that the heart can make itself known, uh, so that these, what some people call the portals, the chakra element can open uh, and connect to your higher centers of awareness, God, all that is, the divine, you see. 
So what we're looking for, I think, in uh, this awakening of the average citizen is an expansion of uh, personal belief systems that allows you, your self, your I, to consider uh, that there is no right or wrong, hmm. that there is no judgment, hmm. that there is no um, enemy. <clears throat> when that happens, the ego uh, stands to the side, you might say. And the heart uh, moves forward. The heart, uh, a perceptual organ uh, of your body, begins to assist you in creating your reality. <clears throat> Without the ego saying that, well, this is wrong, this is right, this doesn't fit in. Uh, the heart is allowed to um, <clears throat> identify everything as uh, sacred, let's say. To see all that is everywhere. Mm. To see uh, the awakened uh, reality. Uh, and to identify the other, other people, as not the enemy, but as part of one, this expression of all that is, uh, in which you are all engaged, this collective expression that you call the world. Mm. So, I think with that I'm going to suggest that over the next week or so, uh, you attempt to expand your beliefs about who you are. Are you a uh, personality with an ego uh, encountering challenges, encountering the enemy? Mm. Or are you a soul? Are you a heart-centered human? encountering uh, the oneness, encountering the human community, your brothers and sisters, you say. We will see how that works out. Okay.